Today is our very last day of 4K for the week. Are you ready to get started? Here we go. Rise and shine and welcome to school today. Rise and shine and welcome to school today. Rise and shine and welcome to school today. We're so glad you're here. All right, turn those attendoscopes over to our calendar. Does anyone remember what month it is? Hmm, has some pumpkins up there to help us remember. And it starts with this sound, ah, ah. October, that's right. And is today a school day or a stay at home day? Even though we're at home, it's still a school day, right? And yesterday was Wednesday. What does that make today? Let's sing our Days of the Week song together. Here we go. Days of the week, days of the week, Days of the week, days of the week, days of the week. There's Sunday and there's Monday. There's Tuesday and there's Wednesday. There's Thursday and there's Friday. And then there's Saturday. Days of the week. 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 All right, friends, if yesterday was Wednesday, today is Thursday. You got it. Thursday, Thursday, that's where it is today. Thursday, Thursday, that's where it is today. Hey, let's add up a dot for our 4K days. We've had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven days so far. And now we need to put up a dot for today and that makes eight. Can you show me eight on your fingers? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Good job, guys. One last day for this letter of the week right here, too. What letter is that? That's a B. That's right. That is a B. And remember, when we looked at this letter earlier in the week at school, a lowercase b looks kind of like this, but it only has one bump on the bottom, right? It's a line down with one bump instead of a line down with two of them. What sound does a bee make? B, b, b. Oh, you guys are so smart. You're gonna be ready to be readers by the time you get to kindergarten. I'm so proud of you. All right. I have one last story to share with you this week. And it's kind of like one that we read already. Remember when we read The Little Red Hen? This one's called The Little Red Hen Makes a Pizza. Are you ready? Here we go. It's retold by Philemon Sturgis, illustrated by Amy Walrod. The Little Red Hen Makes a Pizza. The Little Red Hen had eaten the last slice of her tasty loaf of bread. She'd sipped a cup of chickweed tea and taken her nap. Now she was hungry again, so she scratched through her cupboard and spied a can of tomato sauce. Why don't I make a lovely little pizza, she said to herself. She rummaged through her pan drawer. There were bread pans, cake pans, muffin pans, frying pans, all kinds of pans, but not one single pan was large and round and flat. Cluck, she said, I need a pizza pan. She stuck her head out the window. Good morning, she called. Does anybody have a pizza pan? Quack, not I, said the duck. Woof, not I, said the dog. Meow, not I, said the cat. Very well then, I'll fetch one myself, said the little red hen. So she went to the hardware store. She bought a pizza pan, a large mixing bowl, a pizza slicer, and some other stuff. When she got home, she opened the cupboard. She saw beans and rice, sugars and spices, jars of jam, and even a pickled eggplant. But no flour. Cluck, cluck, she said. I need flour. She stuck her head out the window. Hello, she said. Who'll run to the store and get me some flour? Quack, not I, said the duck. Meow, not I, said the cat. Woof, not I, said the dog. Very well then, I'll fetch some myself, said the little red hen. So she went to the supermarket. She bought some flour, some salt, some oil, and some other stuff. When she got home, she opened the fridge. Cluck, cluck, she said. There's cream cheese, blue cheese, string cheese, and Swiss cheese, but no mozzarella. So, she stuck her head out the window. Excuse me, she said. 
Who will go to the store and buy me some mozzarella? Cluck, not I, said the duck. Woof, not I, said the dog. Meow, not I, said the cat. Very well then, I'll fetch some myself, said the little red hen. Are these animals over here very helpful for her? Uh -uh. So the little red hen went to the delicatessen. She bought some mozzarella, pepperoni, and olives, some mushrooms, onions, and garlic, a can of eight small anchovies, and some other stuff, but no pickled eggplant. When she got home, the little red hen put on her apron and stuck her head out the window. Good afternoon, she said. Who will help me make some pizza dough? Quack, not I, said the duck. Woof, not I, said the dog. Meow, not I, said the cat. Very well then, I'll make it myself, said the little red hen. So she put the flour and some other stuff into her mixing bowl and stirred and mixed and mixed and kneaded and kneaded and pounded until she had a big ball of pizza dough. After the dough rose, the little red hen rolled it flat and folded it and rolled it again and spun it around her head several times. When the dough was just right, she tossed it way up in the air one last time for good luck and put it in her pizza pan. Do you guys ever make pizza like that from scratch? It's been a really long time since I've made pizza even the crust. Then she stuck her head out the window. Excuse me, she said. Who will help me make the topping? Quack, not I, said the duck. Woof, not I, said the dog. Meow, not I, said the cat. Very well then, I'll make it myself, said the little red hen. So she chopped and grated and grated and sliced. Next she opened her can of tomato sauce and spread it all over the pizza dough. On top of that, she put some grated mozzarella, some sliced pepperoni, some chopped olives, some mushrooms, some onions and garlic, eight small anchovies, and some other stuff, but no pickled eggplant. The little red hen looked at her pizza. It looked just right. She put it in the oven and sat down to sip a cup of chickweed tea. Pretty soon, a delicious smell drifted from the oven. It filled the room and floated out the window. My lovely little pizza must be ready, she thought. It was lovely, but it was not little. Holy smokes, that is a giant pizza. Oops. So she stuck her head out the window. Good evening, she said. Would anybody like some pizza? Can you guess what the duck said? Can you guess what the dog said? Can you guess what the cat said? They all said yes, of course, but the cat scraped most of the topping off his share. When the pizza was all gone, the little red hen made herself another cup of chickweed tea. Then she asked, who will help me do the dishes? Now can you guess what the duck, the dog, and the cat each said? They each said, meow, I will. Quack, I will. Woof, I will. And they did. The end. So that one ended a little bit differently than the little red hen that we read earlier this week, right? In the other book, did the little red hen share her bread? Mm -mm. In this story, did the little red hen share her pizza? Would you have shared with those animals if they didn't help you cook? I don't know. All right, guys, have fun doing the activities today. And have a great weekend. Bye-bye.